Let's transition. Let's go to the NBA as we had a blockbuster trade featuring Damian Lillard as Dame Time is heading to Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Bucks traded for Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers received Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Tamani Kamara, a 2029 unprotected first round pick from the Bucks. The Phoenix Suns were also a part of this deal. The Suns received Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Nasir Little, and Keon Johnson. So when you look at the NBA title odds, once Damian Lillard was traded to the Milwaukee Bucks, the Bucks became the favorites to win the NBA title next season. The Bucks are a plus 360. The Celtics are a plus 500. The Suns are a plus 550 in third place. And the defending NBA champion Denver Nuggets are a plus 650. So, when it was first announced that Damian Lillard was being traded from Portland to the Milwaukee Bucks, I had mixed feelings. And the reason why I had mixed feelings is because I'm a Damian Lillard fan. I've been a Damian Lillard fan for years. I love Damian Lillard as a player. Damian Lillard, for his career, he averages 25 points per game on 44% shooting from the floor. He shoots 37% from three-point range. Outside of Steph Curry, there is no player in NBA history who can shoot the basketball the way that Damian Lillard shoots the basketball. The way he shoots the rock, it's only Steph Curry and Damian Lillard in that class. I'm talking about from the ability to once Damian Lillard passes half court, he's a threat. As great of a shooter as Reggie Miller was, as great of a shooter Klay Thompson currently is, neither Klay Thompson, Reggie Miller, or any of those other great shooters in NBA history can shoot the basketball from the distance that Damian Lillard and Steph Curry can shoot it. It's Damian Lillard and Steph Curry in a class of their own. But Damian Lillard spent 11 seasons in Portland, and so when he got traded to the Bucks, I had mixed feelings about it because I am a Celtics fan because I'm a fan of Jason Tatum. I've been a fan of Jason Tatum for years since he's been into the NBA. I'm a fan of Jason Tatum, the player, and I'm a fan of Jason Tatum, the person as well. And so I root for the Celtics during the NBA playoffs and during the season. And so for years, the rivals, per se, of the Boston Celtics were the Milwaukee Bucks. And so a part of me was happy for Dame because now Dame will get an opportunity to compete for an NBA championship. But the other part of it was I was thinking like, damn, as a Celtics fan, the Celtics got some competition now in the Eastern Conference because as great as Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are, they're not as good as Damian Lillard and Giannis. And when it comes to the Milwaukee Bucks, now that Damian Lillard is in Milwaukee, Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo are the perfect fit from a basketball perspective. It's a match made in heaven. And the reason why it's a match made in heaven is Damian Lillard's strengths are Giannis's weaknesses. Giannis's strengths are Damian Lillard's weaknesses. So I feel like they, they complement each other perfectly. And over the last few years, when you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, and specifically last year, last year, the Milwaukee Bucks, they were ranked top five in defense, but they were ranked 15th in offense. And essentially in this deal, the Milwaukee Bucks, they are trading Drew Holiday's elite defense for Damian Lillard's elite offense. And so... In today's NBA, you have to be able to score 
at a high level, and you need your stars to be able to score the basketball in April, May, and June. And that's exactly what the Milwaukee Bucks are getting in Damian Lillard, a player who can create his own shot. And what makes Damian Lillard so great, he's the ultimate closer. I believe over the last five to six years, the best three players in the NBA, and you can also throw Steph Curry into this conversation, the best four players in the NBA, arguably, because Kawhi's been dealing with a lot of injuries, I believe it's Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Giannis. But as great as those four players who I just named are, none of them are as clutch as Damian Lillard is. Damian Lillard is the most clutch player in the NBA. He's the, he's the most clutch. And when you talk about a closer, that's exactly what Damian Lillard is. And for me, when I look at the Milwaukee Bucks from an X's and O's standpoint, over the last few years, they struggle in late game situations because what they do in late games is they give the ball to Giannis. And opposing teams, they build up a wall against Giannis. And so because Chris Middleton has not been healthy the last few years, the Bucks struggle in late game clutch situations. Because even the year when the Bucks won the championship, it wasn't Giannis who was the closer for the Milwaukee Bucks. It was Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton was the closer for the Milwaukee Bucks when they beat the Phoenix Suns in the NBA Finals a few years ago. And so over the last few years, Chris Middleton has been dealing with injury after injury, and so he hasn't been 100%. And so in late-game situations, teams have been able to put a wall up against Giannis, and the Bucs offensively have struggled in the playoffs. Now that you got Damian Lillard, that will not be an issue for the Milwaukee Bucks moving forward because Damian Lillard is the ultimate closer. So if you build up a wall against Giannis, Damian Lillard can – create off the dribble and get to the rim, but he's a tremendous, tremendous perimeter shooter. And for his career, he shot 37% from three-point range. So you can't build up that wall against Giannis anymore because you have to account for Damian Lillard's ability to score the basketball at a high level. So now this makes the Milwaukee Bucks, in my eyes, a top two team in the Eastern Conference. I think right now, the two best teams in the East are clearly, clearly the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. And also, something else to keep in mind, Terry Stotts, he was Damian Lillard's coach in Portland at one point. He is on the coaching staff in Milwaukee. They have a new head coach, Adrian Griffin. He replaced Mike Budenholzer. So Damian Lillard, has a relationship already with Terry Scott Stotts. And so that's also going to help this Milwaukee Bucks team as well. And I said it last year that, you know, if Dane ends up on the Milwaukee Bucks, the way that he compliments Giannis, it's a match made in heaven from a basketball standpoint. And the moment that the Milwaukee Bucks traded for Damian Lillard, Dame Dollar and Giannis instantly, instantly became a top five duo in the NBA. And when I think about top five duo, duos, I think about Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. I think about Kawhi Leonard and Paul George when they are healthy. I think about Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. You got to include Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo in that conversation now as well. So this was a big-time move for the Milwaukee Bucks. And Giannis, over the last few months, he's been flirting with the idea of moving on from Milwaukee and possibly leaving Milwaukee. And now that you bring in Damian Lillard, I think it's safe to say that Giannis at the Cupo is going to be in Milwaukee for future seasons to come. And this is going to be a championship contender next season. And I'm happy for Dane because Dane gave his heart and soul to Portland. His heart and soul. 11 seasons he gave to the Portland Trailblazers organization. 
And again, he's the most clutch player in the NBA. He's the ultimate closer. And they still got a solid team defensively. Even though you traded Drew Holiday and you gave up some of your perimeter defense, this Milwaukee Bucks team will still be good from a defensive standpoint. You still got Bobby Portis in that front line. You still got Lopez as well. And so they're going to be a, a solid defensive basketball team. Dame is going to help them in late game situations. Mark my words. But also, I feel like considering the circumstances, I like this move for the Portland Trailblazers because you get back DeAndre Aiden, and I feel like DeAndre Aiden, his, his, him and the Phoenix Suns time had ran out. That relationship had ran its course. And so now in Portland, a team that's coached by Chauncey Billups, and I like Chauncey Billups as a head coach. I think he can develop some of these young players on this Trailblazers basketball team. And you look at their roster. They got DeAndre Aiden. You got Scoop Henderson, who they're building around now. You still got Jeremy Grant. You got Anthony Simons, Sheldon Sharp as well. I like DeAndre Aiden on this Trailblazers basketball team. I really, really do. So look out for the Blazers. I'm not saying the Blazers are going to be championship contenders. They're not championship contenders. They may not even be playoff contenders, but they have a nice, bright future around DeAndre Ayton and Scoot Henderson. And I like their head coach in Chauncey Billups. And the Phoenix Suns, they got Nurkic in this deal. So Nurkic is going to help them from a defensive standpoint as, you know, overall. And obviously that team, the trio, is Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant. But they were looking to move off of DeAndre Ayton. They were able to do that. So I feel like this is one of those trades that's a win-win for everybody. It's a win-win for everybody. The Milwaukee Bucks, Portland Trailblazers, and Phoenix Suns all won in this deal. And, again, I am happy for Damian Lillard. I am a Damian Lillard fan, and I don't apologize for it. So now for me, when I watch the playoffs in April, May, and June, I'm going to be rooting for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown in the Celtics, but – if Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks meet the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals and the, the Bucks beat the Celtics, I'm rolling with Dame in the Finals. I'm rolling with Damian Lillard in the Finals. And one other thing I want to say before I move on, the Miami Heat were linked to Damian Lillard all offseason long. It was going to be the trio of Damian Lillard, Jimmy Butler, and Bam out of Bayou. And now that they have missed out on an opportunity to trade for Damian Lillard, I don't know if the Miami Heat are going to be able to compete with the upper echelon of the teams in the Eastern Conference like the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. Because there's a talent gap now when you look at the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. Yes, Heat fans, they did beat the Boston Celtics last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. But if you look at the teams top to bottom, the Boston Celtics are a more talented team than the Miami Heat are. And the Milwaukee Bucks damn sure are more talented than, than the Miami Heat are. So I don't know about Miami. I think Miami will be a playoff team, of course, in the Eastern Conference. I would take Miami over the New York Knicks and, you know, the, the, even the Philadelphia 76ers. I would take the Miami Heat over as well. But I'm not, I don't think the Miami Heat are on the same level as the Boston Celtics or the Milwaukee Bucks. And the two best teams in the Eastern Conference now, it's clear, it's the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. They will be on a collision course to see who gets to represent the East in the NBA Finals next year. I'm book, you can book it now. Right, right now, the Eastern Conference Finals will be Celtics-Bucks.